store and you're just going to buy a clear balloon. Okay. And in that clear balloon, you're going to put a penny. So I already put one together for you, so this one will be yours. Okay. So the penny goes into the balloon like this, and now you blow it up. So remember when you were, went to the circus as a kid, that guy in the motorcycle? Yeah. And he would go in that cage and kind of go around and around. Centripetal force. Not centrifugal, but centripetal. Centripetal. So watch this. You're going to hang on to it and shake it up a little bit and then spin. And as you spin like this, you get this beautiful spinning penny sitting inside. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, that's so cool. It just goes around and around faster. and around. <laughs> it's kind of like those uh, planets going around uh, that sun and the moon going around the earth. That satellite that's in geosynchronous orbit that's sitting there just around and around and around. Uh -huh. And now notice that if we were doing this. Alex Bouzier, voulez-vous aller au grad avec moi? On the space shuttle, the difference between what the kids would see down here in the space shuttle is that, that up in space that would just keep going and going and going, but of course the effects of gravity, gravity continue to pull it down. Now, this is a nice quiet activity, and most teachers like quiet oh, activity yes. at the end of the year, mm -hmm. but you don't. So here's oh, what I want alrighty. you to do. This is the perfect thing. This is a hex nut. So you find a hex nut, this is and you drop quiet. it down inside here. Imagine a room. I just came back from El Centro, California. Yeah. in a room of 100 teachers all doing this at the same time. Spin that one and listen to that one. Oh, my finger so got this is, the, this is a screaming penny, which is just beautiful. So now oh, we, yeah. get, <clears throat> we get vibration. This is a librarian's worst nightmare, <laughs> right? Hey, kids, let's go and uh, examine science a little bit. Isn't that fun? Centripetal force. Centripetal but you know the force. one that everybody wants to see uh -huh. you do, of course, is this. And so here is the device. And of course, you're just going to want to make it home. Because why would you want a spoon if you're going to stir up your, uh, your liquid? Right. You need this tray, all right? Of so course. the tray goes like this. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of nice? And now to that tray, we put a glass of water, which is nice. So a glass of water goes here. And you could just do one, but you are going to have a dinner party. So we need to have oh, a lot of these, course. all right? So here we go. Oh, a I little love the dinner force. We would only hope that it would just stay in place, okay? <laughs> so I think you're going to be just fine. And if not, gosh, was it fun seeing a meteorologist spin this over And I'm wearing white today. I'm so okay, you're glad be great. I heard about right, this Okay, you're feeling good? Before. All right, good. So okay. now here's what I want you to do. Yeah. You're going to get a little just kind of rocking action. That mm -hmm. centripetal force, it's a center-seeking force. Ready? Kind of up and over your head. One, one, two, two three, three, up and over your head. Here we go. Oh. Nice. See, you did it. You did it. Go again. Come on. Be, be brave. Be brave. Nice. Here we go. Nice. Nice. It's okay. It's okay. That's Look just, at this one just everywhere. Like, just like hundred thousand million dollar cameras, but you're fine. At least the dinner party had one left. What did you get crazy there for a second? You were nuts.